So there are people who will never feel the heat. I have zero fear about tomorrow, sir. Zero. We didn't get here by tricks. Zero fear. What has not made me to beg in 41 years? Or tempted to? My friend is real. Hypocrisy does not fly with God. In the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. The Lord knows the days of the upright. The inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. In the time of famine, they shall be satisfied. We must get back on key. Hello, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Praise Ganeyu. I have no doubt in me that this video you're about to watch is going to be a blessing. So please go ahead to like, share, drop your comment, and of course, subscribe. And also do not forget to turn on your notification bell so you can get notified when I drop any other video. Thank you so much. Please do enjoy the video. Many people who are born again are still struggling for survival, even in soft times. How would they survive? Hard times. So the part one of this series is captioned a call for spiritual renewal towards flourishing in hard times. In the book of Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 15, the word says good understanding procures favor, but the way of the transgressor is hard. The way of the transgressor is hard. Isaiah 3 verse 10 and 11, say to the righteous shall be well with them, for they shall eat of the fruits, they shall eat of the fruits of their hard doings. But verse 11 says, But woe unto the wicked, he shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hand shall be given him. Behind the struggles of the redeemed, is lack of the fear of the Lord. Nothing flies in hard times like the fear of the Lord. Nothing flies. Joseph flourished as a slave, flourished as a prisoner on one platform, but I fear God. But I fear God. But I fear God. But I fear God. Nothing flies in hard times like the fear of God at work in a man. But I fear God. But I fear God. But I fear God. The man Daniel was indestructible. Because he lived in the, he walked in the fear of God. Daniel 6, verses 4 and 5. The word says, Then the presidents and princes thought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find none occasion nor fault, for as much as he was faithful, neither was there any error of fault found in him. Then says the we shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. Remember, a prophecy has not to define himself with the king's king food. food. So, the fear of God gave him his place in space. 
The king thought to put him over all the whole realm. Remember, the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he showed them his covenant. So he showed them the secret. We took him on the flight, and because he maintained the fear of the Lord, he remained in flight. Nothing flies in hard times like the fear of the Lord. Nothing flies in hard times like the fear of the Lord. Nothing flies in hard times like the fear of the Lord. Nothing flies. This is why spirituality or the fear of the Lord is the custodian of every great destiny in the kingdom. Every great destiny. The word says, all that foundation can no man lay, and that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 3.11. And in 2 Timothy 2.19, for the foundation of God stands sure, having this seal, the Lord made them that are his, and let everyone that in the name of Christ depart from iniquity. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, there are also vessels of wood, of earth, <laughs> of wood and of earth. If any man purge himself of these things, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, me for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. Every great destiny in the kingdom has its root in the fear of the Lord. Has its root in the fear of the Lord. And I'd like to tell you why we are starting this way. Revelation is inaccessible without the fear of the Lord. Revelation is short-circuited without the fear of the Lord. Psalm 25 verse 14, the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him and he will show them his covenant. He will show them his covenant. The secret that we belong to God, only what he shows we can have, we can assess. Only what he shows we can assess. The secret things belong to our God is only what he reveals that we can assess. He will only show his covenant to them that fear him. What you hear is not the same as what he shows. What you read is not the same as what he shows. That's why you see that in the place, in the same meeting. Somebody has caught some light that turns his life around like a dream of the night. Somebody has didn't know what was happening. He didn't have an idea. It's not giving him. It's not giving him. It's not giving him. It's time to renew our spiritual altar. We are in the time that everybody will need revelation to escape the horror of the day. And it's not a natural man cannot receive the sins of the Spirit of God because that. Foolishness will neither can he know them. You can't be and assess these things. It's time to clean up to secure your future. It's time to clean up the future. To clean up. It's time in between the non Christian. No refreshing. There is no impact because the only reason is stories. They have no answer to the mysteries. The secret of the Lord to them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. He will show them his covenant. It's important to get back to the foundation, sir. These games are too much. Now there's nothing you do. God just loves you. What a lie. What a lie. He turned his back on Solomon, his lover. Anything you do, doesn't matter. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Wait. It's time to return. Amen.
It's time to return. God will be revealing things to us here, but you can't assess them except your own key. Except your own, you will hear, but you won't see it. And only what you see will be given to you. As far as your eyes can see, you will give it. He said, turn ye at my reproof, and I will make my word known unto you. You turn. Proverbs 1, 23. There is need for a turning if you must have to see what God is showing. The sure foundation of every great destiny in the kingdom is a deliberate departure from whatever displaces God. No believer's life can ever be more fulfilling than his spiritual. <laughs> to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And to be carnally minded is death. Romans 8.6 no one can ever prosper and sustain prosperity beyond the spirituality. Please listen to me. There are too many, God bless me yesterday, I can't see it again today. <laughs> we need to reposition. We need a reorientation to sustain the blessings of God. We need a reorientation to sustain the blessings of God. what he said I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper, Third John verse 2 and be in health even as thy soul prospereth to the level of your spiritual prosperity <laughs> to the level no one can command the supernatural than the spiritual those sons of Sceva said, come on, in the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches, the devils passed on them and messed them up. Now watch, Gehazi was given a rod by Elisha to go lay on the dead. He came back and said, he wakened not. He can't wake. He won't wake. He was not a worthy vessel through whom that can happen. He wouldn't wake. And we saw why his eyes were on money. Ah, my master has spared this man. I will run after him. I must take something from him. The heart of man is very deep. There's really wicked who can know it. I, the Lord, I start the heart and I tried the rain to give to everyone according to what I find going on in their heart. It's very important. No one can ever command the supernatural. Are aimed in the evil time and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. They shall be satisfied. Hypocrisy does not fly with God. In the days of famine they shall be satisfied. The Lord knows the days of the upright. Their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. In the time of famine they shall be satisfied. We must get back on key to realize God's agenda for these times of uncertainties. We must get back on key. Psalm 33 and verse 18 and 19. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Ah. His eyes are upon them that fear him. Not people playing games around. Them that fear him. <laughs> you won't feel the heat, oh. <laughs> so I can over. That's what we say, it cannot be felt. They won't feel it. Wait. Egypt born like an oven. Under the wrath of God. Israel never felt it. God's people never felt it. <laughs> there was thick darkness in the same nation, and bright light in another part of it. They never felt it. 
all their crops were destroyed overnight. Not one field of God's people was destroyed. All their cattle were destroyed, but not one of their cattle was missing. So, there are people who will never feel the heat. No matter the temperature, sir. God who brought Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego out of the fiery furnace, life, without a smell of fire on them, he has a plan for you. He has a plan for you. He has a plan for you. I have zero fear about tomorrow, sir. Zero. We didn't get here by tricks. Zero fear. What has not made me to beg in 41 years? Or tempted to. My friend is real. It's real. This thing is real. Your days of struggling are over. Amen. What does not mean to pray for money? I've not prayed for money. This is my mouth. This is God. That God today, today, remember me. Not once. The moon has no light of its own. It only aligns at a particular angle to the sun. And what we call the moonlight is a reflection of the light from the sun. Jesus is the son of righteousness. When we align with him, we reflect his glory without sweat. In the name of Jesus, whatever is cutting short your access to God's agenda for this hour, I command an end to it all. The good news is this, listen to me. If it is the blessing of God, no devil can revert it. I will bless them that bless thee and him that causes you, I will cause. You don't have to spend time saying, I cast you out, devil. They cast themselves out. No, if it is the blessing of God, it does not know reversal. God's blessings knows no reversal. God's blessings knows no reversal. You won't suffer reversals anymore. Somebody bless you tonight. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. I believe you have been tremendously blessed. Please do not forget to like, share, drop a comment, and of course, please subscribe and also turn on your notification bell so you can get notified when I drop any other video. My name is Chris Ganyu. Thank you so much for watching.